All right, welcome. We're going to go ahead and take a look at making uh, coasters or mats out of paracord. These two different variations here, there's one that's a four turn variation and this other one is a six turn if you will and it's a little harder to see because it is camouflage. Not as much contrast there but we're going to go ahead and take a look at making those. They're really nice. I enjoy them. But what we're going to do is we're going to start out with uh, 15 feet of paracord here. And we're going to we're just going to run with this. We'll dive right into it. First we need to start with our knot. And what we're going to do is we're going to take about 8 to 10 inches of paracord and leave it hanging off the top of our hand. All right. Then we want to form two turns on our hand or two loops. So we're going to take our first loop and form that right there and then we're going to go ahead and form another one in the same manner just like that. Now once you've got that with the top of your paracord you want to go underneath this end that's hanging out when you come around to the other side. All right. Now you want to take your long end and just lay that over, neat, over your right hand loop and then take your index finger and you want to go underneath over and under. Go ahead and stop there briefly. Now take your 8 to 10 inches that you left out and bring that underneath your left hand loop just like so and then with your index finger finish the pattern that you've started and go over under over. Okay. Now you want to take all your paracord, swing it around to the other side, meanwhile bringing it underneath this loose end you've got hanging out. Now we want to bring our paracord, all of it, back through following your index finger. So you'll follow the same over under over under pattern all the way out the other side and from there just feed it through. I'm going to go ahead and cover it a little with my thumb just to hold my knot in place. And I'm going to pull all my paracord through. Now your knot's going to look a little dilapidated right here. That's okay. As soon as we finish pulling our paracord through, we will get it straightened out. And I've got a little knot in mine. So we'll finish pulling our paracord through here. Got all my paracord through. Got my knot just like I tied it on my hand. I can pull my finger through the knot, pull that out, lay my knot flat, and as I do, I can just kind of go ahead and even it out as much as possible, evenly space all the strands of that knot. And that is the start of our mat. Now, to begin weaving it, the only thing we want to do is take our short end and turn it towards our long end. Take our long end and follow it around the short end just like so to form a loop. Okay, you can see there how I did that. Now once that's done you want to take your long end, your working end, and you want to continue to follow that strand right here that we formed with our short end. It's pretty straightforward. All you need to do just follow that strand. Wherever it goes, over or under, you follow along with it. Now you'll see I just pretty much slap my hand down on it so you guys can't see it. The reason I do that is to hold the knot in shape. If I just start trying to pull, it's going to just form a little bundle out of my knot and I want it to keep its shape while I do this. You'll notice also as you pull that your cord will spin on you a little bit. You want to, as you pull it through, unspin it by just taking your cord and spinning it within your fingers so that way your cord will remain nice and flat on your table or whatever you're making it on alright so you can see there I've started to started to follow it and I like I said I lay my hand down flat on it just so that I can keep everything in in shape here without monkeying it all up 
as you go, you will obviously lose length off your off your working end here, which is to be expected. And you just want to keep on following the thread that you're following. And it's going to take you a little bit of time to form a few loops around. And that's quite all right. I think it's part of the reason I like these mats is they do take a little bit of time. They take a little bit of effort. They're certainly not what I would consider difficult. They're just a little bit time consuming, which like I said, I, I kind of like that. See how that spun on me, so I'm going to go ahead and unspin that. Periodically, I throw my cord off the end of my table just so that it can unravel itself. Continue following your strand. Alright, so if you're following along, go ahead and continue following your singular strand until you either create f f a thickness of four turns or you start running out a cord. Once I start running out a cord, I'm going to kick the video back on in another video and we'll show you how to start snugging it up.